Hi, my name is Cam. I'm 34 years old. I'm based out of Austin, Texas, and this is Financial Audit. Damn. Let's see what the Financial Murray Show has to say today. All I'm saying is I hope I look good when I'm 34, because I would have swore you're in your 20s. So. <laughs> good job. Congratulations, <laughs> Jeans. What do you do for a living? Um, I am a creative and an entrepreneur. Okay. Well, I guess I could say the same about myself. Uh, I would love to dig a little more deep into that. But I'm curious. Okay, creative, entrepreneur. What do you bring in on a monthly basis, on average? Right now, not enough. Like okay. under 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 two thousand. Let's say she's giving a pre-tax number, which I highly doubt she is. This is fifty-two point four percent of the median annual wage, which is according to USA Facts, forty-five thousand seven hundred sixty dollars. It's going to be hard to make anything work with that little amount of income, especially in a big city. Under two thousand a month? Yeah. You said you're in Austin. I'm in Austin. Uh, you can't yeah. live on under two thousand. No, you a cannot. Month. No. I mean, I literally, $2,000 a month is $24,000 a year. I pay more than double for the base pay for uh, my producer who was in your seat a few weeks ago. And like, I got found on TikTok for doing a base pay of $50,000. They were like, that's a poverty wage. You're making less than half that. How, how, how uh, are you surviving? Like legitimately. Um, so right now I feel like I'm just in a transitional point of... Uh, From to... Well, I used to work in corporate, and so that's where I was, you know, very stable, I guess you can say, with my income. Um, but uh, I, in recent years, have really have stepped out to be an entrepreneur with, like, my brand. So as a creative, brand? Uh, I'm an actress, I model, I am in film, working behind the scenes in There's film. There's so many in Austin all of a sudden, I swear. Uh, <laughs> what is happening? Uh, <laughs> I'm not against it. I'm just like, please pursue your hopes and dreams. But if you're only making 24 grand a year, you need to be doing something else and work on your hopes and dreams in the evening or on the side. Uh, is that um, when you said entrepreneur, I thought maybe we were starting a business of some kind. Your brand and it's just you. Okay. That's a start. I mean, there's other things on the list that. Well, obviously you did not do this right. We could say that I'm uh a creative entrepreneur but i didn't jump full into it jumping for my corporate job until i was making enough money to replicate not even fully replicate my old income but uh was able to sustain myself right. while also having a 12 month emergency fund on the side right when did you jump the corporate world um so i left around uh 2020 i believe there was some other things that were Kind of happening in um, 2020 man because you could have been fighting for some pay raises during then yeah yeah times were good on in the and the late 20s early 30s even though it's a hard time and the money guys review it as the messy middle this is also probably the best time that she needs to be saving and investing so that it has time to grow and she is self-sabotaging herself more than any other job or corporate was would be doing in the austin market and the jobs yeah it's all about perspective um i really um i had lost my mother in 2020 to like stage four colon cancer oh, goodness, in so august of 2020 so i had a job but i had to make an executive decision to kind of take care of some things and so at the end of 2020 everything the job scene was just kind of all over the place and so i kind of took that as an initiative well, it didn't start, the job scene in the corporate america especially in tech and in austin it didn't really start fluctuating until what was it beginning of 2022 was like the first no like end of 2022 because yeah, we're in 2024 now, so end of 2022 is when things started getting a bit funky. So you should have been able to drop in pretty hard. Like they were hand, like literally in Austin specifically, but especially around the major cities, especially in tech, tech's a major sector within Austin. Like they were just dangling jobs. No, they couldn't even get jobs out quick enough. Yeah, for people to jump into. So what was your experience? What were you doing? Um, grieving, mourning, taking no, the time. No, what was your job in corporate America? Uh oh, in corporate, I worked in uh, software sales, tech. So I was managing. Oh. I made so much money. I did. I, and you could have gone right back into that so easily. The, uh, trust me, the grieving, totally get it. I'm blessed where I haven't had to do that yet, but I am so sorry for you. No, there. no, it's okay. I, that was just, well, I, that was no, the no, no, I just want to set a, that expectation. Yeah, I, like, I am sorry. I, After, uh, you know, whenever uh, you started to not even like move on, because that's such a hard thing. It's an oversimplification. But once you started to try to get your life back, man, you could have gotten a job, dude. Well, and that's where I'm at right now. So I was living off of my savings and I had, for a couple years what and, i'm looking at you've been living off of debt uh i mean and i also do contract work with like uh delivering for 
a really big company. So that kind of helped me float a little bit. But I was really just living off of... It's crazy. I'm, I don't have anything against this Amazon Flex delivery and you're doing, but... Man, I've personally set people up with, like... Uh, like a tech sales certification from course careers. Man, they get in tech, tech sales. You can make so much money if you f grind. It's incredible. You were making money. Why do you not care about that anymore? I do. I for sure do. Okay, but you're making less than $24,000 a year in, an, in, in a city that you cannot survive off of $24,000 a year. Right. So... Which, by the way, will explain pretty much every account we're about to go through, which are f ridiculous oh, Yeah. by any metric. Sorry, I don't even know what I asked you. I, I don't think I just I just went into a rant. Uh, just I'm just confused. Why have we not gone back to making money? If we if you watched many of his episodes, you'll continue to see a similar theme. The short of it is this: if you're not making enough money, your finances are gonna be shit. So, in considering a job or occupation, you need to consider how much money you'll be making at it and what your expenses will be. Okay, get, so here we like to do a score zero to ten for finances. Um, give us where do you think you are? Zero to ten. Ten being the best. Zero being the worst. Where are you? Right now, I would give myself, like, under a five, like, just realistically. So under a five. Well, five would be, like, okay, middle of the road. You know, yeah, like, no, okay, like that's a, solid. Like a, a one road. or a two, realistically, from okay. where I've been one before to, more reasonable. to now. It's just getting back. So on this 1099 mm -hmm. for your Amazon Flex, uh -huh. brought in a whopping $13,000. Over the course of what, though? Last year, 2023. I've been there for two years. The year before, I made 23000 Why is it going down? I don't know. No, no, no. Why is it going down? I many emails. This is just no, 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 no. What do you mean? Is it the hours going down or like what is happening? A Why lot is the of wage people. Down? They've hired a lot of people to deliver, so it's just okay. So there's grab a route quick enough before you can blink. Okay, well that's the reason why. That's what yeah, I was trying to figure yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. So there's more people, so there's less routes available. I think so. Yeah. Which I mean, I guess I understand it from their business standpoint because they're they just want people to grab onto them as quick as possible, so right. that there's never a route on. Right. Uh, so I'll be up that's trying nothing. to get a route at three o'clock in the morning, and I can't click. Somebody else already clicked it. Someone's, you got to talk right in the mic. Okay, someone's already clicked it. But I made 10000 in acting and modeling, really in acting Last this year. year? In 2023, my first year. So $23,000! Before taxes. Your f your life! What, ta you know, what taxes are you going to have to pay on top of that? I mean, I know there's stuff and plus stuff, but you're the, it's going to be basically... Okay, because the only reason that upsets me is because we go over here, and then the first credit card we look at, first credit card we look at... Past due amount three hundred forty dollars. That's just being an irresponsible child. If you're not making enough money to pay on your debt, then go get a f job that pays money instead of the dream. The dream. I want you to live the dream. I want everyone to live the dream. I am blessed enough because I mean, honestly, you guys are incredible that I get to live the dream. I get to hire people to live the dream. I want you to live the dream. I want everyone to live the dream. But there's also being a responsible adult, and you are being like, okay, I'm just not going to pay on my debt instead of going and getting a job that makes sense. Preach, Caleb. Preach. Yes, tech is hard now, but you've been delaying this for years. If you were talented, you had a resume experience, and you could have said what you've done, and you could back it up with numbers of what you did successfully passing the sales. Yeah. Trust me, people still need to sell products. Right. We need to land you a job that makes money. I don't give what you want. I know, and I'm coming back into the market. I was out of the market for a while. You are. I, I had invested in a lot of stocks and crypto, and I thought oh, I would become a millionaire. And, what uh, are you? <laughs> you were going to become a millionaire? Absolutely. What do you mean? It's not too late, but I mean... No, no, no. What, the, what does that mean? I want to hear like the... the what, what, what is your I was going to become a millionaire? Well, I mean, just the whole concept of what took place a few years ago within the market. I entered into, I think, a really good time. Um... I had a little bit of money to where I could make a mean? profit. What market? What market did you jump into? Like crypto and oh. that whole craze. What crypto? Um, I did a little Doji coin. Oh. I did um, what else? There was a there was a whole list of little things. I tried to go for the ones that offered um, what is it? Oh my god, they give you bankruptcy? No, they give you kickbacks every quarter or whatever. What Dividends? Dividends? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you know stocks do that as well. Yeah. So stocks. I, I invested well, stocks. in um, it's big. Bitcoin's not considered <laughs> No, okay, so... Dude, how are you possibly <laughs> investing if you don't even know what the f Bitcoin is, what category it falls into? That's a joke. No, I definitely invested in stocks. I just... Congratulations, but you just asked what Bitcoin... No. <laughs> in all seriousness, depending on what role you want to take in your investments and savings, whether it's an active approach or very passive, you still need to know what you are invested in and what kind of investments they are and what you are to expect from them. You need to know this. It's your money. You want to play a proactive role in it. <clears throat> There's a whole list of things that I invested in based off of... And what happened? Well, I tried to play the whole psychology game of it, you know. What psychology game? The psychology of stocks and crypto and you yeah, have to keep calm. Yeah, you invest. And I had like where I invested a certain amount 
um, so that whenever it went up, I knew that I had a third of whatever that was, right? And everything was great. But how trading? Were you like swing trading? Were you day trading? Were you buy and hold? What were you? Buying hold. Whenever I saw that, whenever it went up, I was like, take out. I don't know. Whenever I only knew part of the game, I think. And uh, no, I didn't take no, out my money. You don't know the game. You know what the game is? Buying the jet. Not investing advice. My gosh, not investing advice. The legal requirements around it are it's really silly that I, you know, you gotta have a piece of paper to say literally this. Not invested advice. But what do I do? What's the game I play? I just buy into the overall general United States stock market, baby! And I just put that in and I let it go until I retire because, I mean, I'm just betting on the overall economy of the largest economy in the world and uh, some of the best companies in the world. And that's what I'm doing. And I don't freak out and try to day trade and swing trade and get into crypto and bull. Well, it was good back then, though. I came up on a it's lot. It's good all the time. It's good all the time and bad all the time. You got some uptrends. You experienced some good things. Yes, if you get a nice, beautiful bull market for a while, it's going to feel good. Guess what? Even the beginning of last year through the end of last year, in general, though, it felt like we were going Go! all over the market. QQQ, SPY, we ended up well up. It's so It's always going to... Why'd you only put two twenty dollars to this when you had to pay three hundred forty dollars? I didn't have. I I, I put what then I. Then why don't you go and get literally any job? Tech sales, I would love you to get into. But why are we not fucking slinging fries in the middle of the night if we can't pay our bills? Um, I would prefer to. I don't give you a prefer. Okay, well, I would prefer to be able. My time is worth more than. No, it's not. If it was worth more, if it was worth more with all the free time you had, you would be paying this card. Time is worth more. Time is worth more. It's not. It's literally not. If it was worth more, your time would be paying on this. I understand, and I think. With, okay, so you were incorrect. I think that with the funds that I had available that have been coming in, not even covering all of my bills, you have. I, what am I going to do? Am I going to pay part of my car because I need it? Or do I pay, put it towards all of this 300? I can't put 300. You can get a job instead of trying I to I have apps. a job. I work. Amazon. No, but you I just said a... it's not working. If it's not working and you're bringing in $12,000 on a yearly basis, $12,000 on a yearly basis, I don't, th I don't think, mm, I don't think you can like start at a food service job in Austin under $15 an hour, by the way. Like there might be a couple of places, but pretty much everywhere I see is like 16 to 20. Hmm. Okay. And I do have Boom. a side that's gig. That's $31,200 a year, $15 an hour for 40 hours a week. Boom. 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 That is more than you make with both of your jobs combined. I know I probably sound like a dick and I'm going intense, but I go intense for a reason because well, it is clearly you do not believe this and you need to because the future of your life actually matters. It does. And I believe, like, why do I have to flip fries? Why can't I do something else? What why? the f*** do you mean? Because whatever something else is, is not happening. Well, I just So started... it's called being a big boy, being a big girl, growing the f*** up and doing what's necessary right. and responsible in your life to actually take care of your Right. You're absolutely, and that's why I'm back in the market. I'm, what do you mean back in the market? What are you doing? I apply to so, I'm applying to jobs. I'm applying back tell into me, the market. Tell me, tell um, me. Back into tech, back into software, back into sales, back into what I know that I'm. How many are you applying to on a daily basis? Anywhere from 25 to 35. It's a lot. Decent. Yeah, that's it's a lot. pretty good. And my resume is tight. Where are you applying on? Um, Indeed, on Glassdoor, on the actual company website. Um, okay, pull up Indeed. I want to see it. Like, really, right now? Yeah, I okay. want to see if you're applying or not. Uh, trust me. I, I can show you all the emails. I want to see it. Okay. Please? Absolutely. Nothing like an unemployed person with a coffee and a MacBook. <laughs> I love how savage he gets. I low-key think it's been getting better and better and more refined each time. Listen, life wasn't always like this. Okay? No, I know. Like, I'm just I, joking. That's like the classic this like, is, Twitter. And, this is only temporary. Like, I've been up before. Well, I know. That's I, great, but right you're not paying bills. You right, can't that's be picking. not ever the goal. Beggars can't be choosers. Right. So that's why I'm choosing what I'm trying to get. If I have exactly. an option, I just said beggars can't be choosers. But if I have an option, I'm Mac gonna... won't let you do that. But what? Just you... scroll down, like just. Oh, uh, it would in a proper email service, but oh. you're using Outlook, like a disgusting creature. All right, let's take a look. We got you connected. Perfect. Good. That's awesome. How did it go? Um, it went well. Is is this? Oh yeah, it went well. Um, I've had a couple interviews where they do like first round. They want to just ask questions first, probably as a filter before they actually do. But I've gotten a lot of. We've moved on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I can even show you my resume. I think I think it's I think it's good. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I will take a look at your resume because that could be a big thing. I'm see, I've only gone a few days back, but it's looking more like fine today. No, 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 no. That's just when I've gotten a response. Oh, that's just when I've gotten a response back. Okay. okay. So there's a lot. Good. Well, I'm glad you are then. then yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll stop yeah. digging into that. I would love to look at your resume though. No, absolutely. Um, 
Mm, okay. <laughs> what? What? Well, especially for more like, just if we're going into a sales position, yeah. more than one page on a resume. Like, try to condense this down to one page, plus it's just filled with like... So your resume should be one page. It should be nice, concise, to the point. Very clear and easy to read. If you have a lot of other things going on, and a lot of other certifications and things that might need to be addressed, you can have something called a CV, and depending on what your job is, they might request something like that instead. Especially if you're desperate for a job, you need to have both prepared and ready. Crap, it doesn't matter. Plus it only, it's, it's only going to like... It's filling up a page and a half. It just gets weird. One page concise, even if you have to make some of the things. Smaller. So it's normally has always been a page, but I was told by that, hey, you if it's over two, if you need to add two pages, like go. So what? But make so it sure I, that it's concise. Well, maybe it's always been one page in the last few years. But when I was doing some research into the best yeah. resume practices on YouTube and some sites I was reading, yeah, I said I always read keep it to one page. I've always man, that sucks because I like the way it looks. It's easy, you know. Yes, but absolutely. It's also just lots of lots of instead of key points there's like almost many paragraphs all over here well i normally have like my kpis oh i've like literally you know this yeah. was connect rate this was the goal rate all of that and then some people have said like no like that's what your talking points are you know so I've, who, who are you talking to um uh, multiple people and i have multiple different versions of my resume this is just the most recent one that i've been I'd putting get out your company off well I'd then i haven't your... worked in the last four years that's why i have people say no, you got to show you've been doing something. So to show what I've been doing, auditions every day, acting, modeling, it's like, I don't want to say, oh, I'm a model. No, I'm trying to uncouple that into... I don't want you to lie either, but... Everybody lies on their resume, but I try to keep it honest. It's just, I didn't have that on there. And they were like, well, that doesn't well, look good. The skill section is like, eh. Your education's like, eh. And it's like 2012 anyway, so like, who cares? Oh. What? It's over a decade old. Oh. Just what? You, no, no, no. When, when, relax. Relax. What? What do you mean over a decade? What, like, what? What are you trying well, to say? Well, it's like, no, no, no. All that, like, what? If, we're hiring, if I'm hiring for a sales position, if people are hiring for a sales position, I want to see what the f you've done. All the great sales scales you have, the great deals you've closed, things like that, instead of these mini paragraphs. And then, I graduated from Liberty University in 2012. Just a big, s and then the skills underneath it are like, I'm really going to client relations and employee training. The Liberty University! <laughs> Woo! Like, <laughs> I think... <gasps> okay. I don't know. There's this... Okay. So, uh, just, just, just a couple thoughts on my end. Okay. But, um, okay. Okay, well, I'm glad you're, I'm glad you're starting to at least apply to things. Um, I yeah, am, I, I am glad because this credit card is a joke. $1,664 oh. owed. $430 uh, is what is owed right now because you're past due 340 You have $40 of fees and then $30 of interest accruing. It's at 24.99% interest rate, so. Yeah, it's hard. That was like a $5,000 limit and that recently closed. And I just ended so up on the wrong side. So it's in collections? Yeah, there's a whole bunch in collections. So the, I don't, great. Well, cool. More to get into then. As if there wasn't enough that we've barely even touched. Okay, we have a 2020 Kia Optima. Yes. So when you left the workplace, you went and got a Kia? Because you said 2020. No, so I you went and got a car loan when we left the workplace? No, I had got it right before June 2024. I wasn't knowing what was about to transpire. So I had got into that car. I actually got a really good deal. It was worth 30 grand. I got it for 15. They gave it to me for half off. Well, oh, hold on. Was it worth thirty? Yes, it was brand new. Mean? It was a brand new twenty twenty Kia. Optima. Why would they give it to you for half off? Um, some old people bought it, didn't want it. Um, Who'd you buy it from? Kia. Mm, they they don't just take losses. You know. Also, I'm favored. Crazy, delusional. I'm not sure about this whole favored business. I am blessed and favored, and that was my time to get a new what? car. Yeah. What are you talking about? I am. I'm favored. Meaning. What are you talking about? <laughs> that means that things happen for me. Um, in divine time, I guess you can say. What magical wanna, rainbows do you have floating over your head that I no mean, one else has, apparently? I was born on Christmas. I like to think that Congratulations, I'm Congratulations, I was born on Valentine's Day. Oh. What do I get? Where's my little special 50% discount on a car? Yeah, well... I don't know. I'm skeptical of just... No, no, no. It was, it, was a, it was a deal. It really was a deal. Well, yeah, but I don't know what was up with the car and the mm -hmm. history and different things like that. Old people, a car dealership will never take a loss. They, Unless they're just desperately trying to push inventory. They were trying to push inventory. I at guess. the peak of the car market? Yeah. At the, well, wait, when did you buy this? June 2020. June, uh, June 2020. Would, but they were having trouble getting cars starting around then. Starting right around then. It would make no sense for them to desperately try to push it. I walked in. Listen, I wasn't there. I don't know. But either way, it doesn't f***ing matter. You got it 50% off, 74 months. But we're past due $912 because... Listen. It, this, listen, I'm happy you're out there applying, but... Like, what you have to do 
as a responsible adult until you get the job you want is we have to work jobs we don't want just so we can pay the bills. Again, I showed you $31,200 is $15 an hour for 40 hours a week. You should be working 80 hours a week. You should be working 80 hours so we can keep it up with your bills. If we're not making our payments, if our car's going to get repoed, if we're just around, and you need a car to live in the city, unfortunately, car-dependent infrastructure, you, you, you can't. It all recently started going downhill. Congratulations! You recently should have got a job to pay for it. I, re I recently have money. Yeah, you recently, as of today, <laughs> have nothing. What do you mean recently? Because... These are all missed payments, which well, means before you walked in here, not like as you sat down here and all of a sudden it's missing. So I, when I took a look at my finances uh, at the end of, it was around summer of 22, I believe. That's when I started to notice like, oh, sh the thing, things are getting. It was a year and a half ago. A year and a half ago, yeah. Around 22, that's when I noticed like my, my what I was looking at was dwindling and it, it was like I had to. A year and a half ago is a long time to make change. Like it takes I a couple said, of weeks to get a job flipping some McFries. I have money and it really quick. And it, it's these But last why have you couple, not made any corrective? I have. I no, you have not. We haven't even gotten to your spending statement yet. It's one of the stupidest things I've ever seen in someone in your position. So I I work a lot of jobs, not just Amazon. I do I like don't care contracts. if you, I don't care. I work. I, I, work. I don't, I don't make enough. I, I don't care if you work a lot of hours. If you're bringing in 24,000 hours a year, you are not working correctly. It's one of our don't be a rules... Uh, it's rules of not being a f up. It's stop f***ing around with work. If you're working a lot of hours and you're not making your money, you need to go work anything, any overnight stocking shelves. Those jobs, yes, some of the higher pay in the markets that you're applying for right now, it is objectively harder than it was a couple years ago. Historically, it's not the hardest it's ever been, but it is the hardest it's been uh, in, you know, in quite a few years. Service-based jobs, stocking shelves jobs, they are still underemployed and they are trying to get people in the door. And in places like Austin, they'll start you 15 to 20 to 22 yeah. an hour. The job sucks. No one likes it. I, I don't mind highly stocking. doubt even more than 1% of people that do those jobs wake up every day and are like, oh, I get to go make fries. I don't think that's how it works. But people are out there getting done, taking care of their lives, taking care of their bills, taking care of their families, like responsible adults. Yeah. And you're saying, no, I'm going to wait till I get my dream job and let my car go get repoed. No, it's not going to get I'm going to wait a year and a half when I realize that my finances are starting to go down instead of trying to address it, instead of uh, address my spending habits, my spending habits, going out to eat 20% of your spending. $397 going out to eat and oh. you choose not to pay that same amount that was due on the card? Is this in the That's year? a child. No, I pay. I do. I, it's just recently. Just oh my recently. gosh. How, how, it's how just are you? recently. How are you? What are you? Dude, this, this makes no sense. This and this were from the same month. You chose not to pay a $340 payment that you owed, but you went out to eat $397. No, that's are being business. a baby. A lot of it oh, is business. Oh, shut. We'll get there. We'll get there. I know. No. I've already written out everything for my business side that I'm going to write off, that I have to write off. Yeah, but if they're real write-offs, I doubt it. We'll get through it. We'll get through it. These are we'll, real. No, nope, we're going we're gonna to find out. These are absolutely real. Write off? Write off? She's only making 20 grand. What does she have to write off? She's at the lowest tax bracket. So what? If she is able to write anything off, she's getting like 10 cents back on the dollar? This girl doesn't understand how this works. I can't say that I... In the transitional stage that I'm in right now, understanding and working oh, on my spending habits. A year and a half of transition. Habits. You think you'd be able no, to figure lot. out the transition? By yeah, then. I mean, I'm silver. What? I was just trying to save that one. What? I, like you talking about that credit card? Yeah, yeah. What? I was just trying to save it. What one, do you mean save it? One close, and so I was trying not to let my credit just completely just like say. Who even gives a about your credit at this point? You're not taking advantage of credit. Credit's taking advantage of you. You're being taken advantage of. You're not taking advantage of it. I it's what? You're not a credit card person. When I was on the good side of it, I just ended That's up on the bad side. That's all it takes. Side. That's all it takes. You're in the bad side now. Who cares about the good side a couple years ago? A couple years ago was a couple years ago. I did dumb stuff a few years ago, worked on my life, got mental health help, did a lot of things to improve my life. Two years ago, well, it wasn't two years ago, but a decade ago, five years ago, whatever, doesn't define my life. What happens right now defines my life. You're what right. If you were doing well a couple of years ago, doesn't define your life. What defines your life right now is what's happening right now. And this is what's happening right now. But okay. I didn't have any money. So it's like, oh my gosh. Because you're choosing not to go get a job like a human. No. Adult. Well, I am working. I am trying oh to be good shit. Are we just going to have a go in circles this entire conversation? No, we're not. This is the least. <laughs> I am working, though. Like, I, I, I've been diligently trying to pick up shifts. I have been applying day in and day out. Mm -hmm. I apply on Sundays. To the dream jobs. Awesome. I want you to get those jobs. You apply for those jobs while you're working the sh job. Well, because I can you do need to make ends. 
me. Okay. Yeah. You're right. You're right. $150 is owed because guess what? Fees are charged $39 fees. Probably because there's late fees. Yep. Lovely. $842 balance. Fantastic. $21 of interest. Great. Love it. Oh, Navient. So what you, where, oh, well, we know you graduated from Liberty University in 2012 because it's the biggest thing on your resume. Oh, my gosh. It's not the so biggest thing. So we know. Thing. Oh, my gosh. I mean, I'd make it the biggest thing on my resume if I was going to talk about these next two student loans that we're about to talk about. Go Because they're insanity. They are. I, they are. Is Liberty University private? They yes, they be. are. They're so very this private. Is a private college type. Private awesome. Christian University. <clears throat> well, they better have delivered you a lot of religion because <laughs> this was expensive. Yeah, it was. I played lacrosse for them. That was pretty cool. Oh, they should have probably given you a really good scholarship if you're going to do that because you have a total of. I think I'm at like 80,000. It's like 85, maybe 90,000. Are you paying on these? No, I've never. I'm in I'd forbearance and deferred. Forbearance and deferred? Yeah. Not even on like an income based thing? You just keep That's pushing? IBR. Our, yeah, IBR, income based. Okay. Yeah. So you're not in deferment. That's more like just pushing it down the road. Like I'm in a period where I don't have to pay on it. Yeah. I, I'm sure at the beginning of these loans, it was a lot of deferments. And now we're in forbearance. Now we're IBR. We're in whatever mode. It's like I ain't got it right now. So you got it because you're choosing not to got it though, which is kind of what upsets me. It's like. Trust me, if people can't make ends meet and they literally need money to survive and all these different things, yes, income-based, that makes sense from a moral standpoint of just a society. You're literally choosing not to work. And I'm like, F this is money that you took out and you're literally choosing not to work so all of a sudden you don't have to pay it back because of your choice? That hurts me, dude. I, I think um, at the age of 17, it was more so a family decision. Hey, you going to go to school? This is what needs to be done. I grew up in a single parent household, so whatever ways means that my mom could get this done for me, yeah. I had to get it done. No, the American culture around it is stupid. It, it's fair enough. It's fair enough. Because it's, it's uh, for a lot of people, especially, I, I don't know your living situation, but living situation for me, when I was born, I was born into a house that made basically no money. And eventually, you know, they did work their way up the middle class, which was fantastic. But by the time I was gra uh, graduating high school, wasn't the case. But it's always like, go to college, that, uh, go, you know, borrow what you need to to get the degree because that's going to lead to a better life. And that's like everyone's mindset. Now, right. you can do college the right way and there's a lot of things you can do get a degree the right way right um but obviously there's a wrong way to do it like $89,181 at so if you're considering going to college, do your best to not be in more debt than what you expect to make in yearly income. So now that we know that she's at least 90k in debt with this, she needs to do her damnedest to make at least 90k job. And that's not even taking into account all of her other debts. 7% interest rates of death and insanity. Uh, Sport management degree. Can't even pay back. Oh, fantastic. That's what you're working on right now. <laughs> I started off as a mechanical engineer, and then for whatever reason, I don't know what happened in college life, but I decided to just go be passionate as an athlete, sports, you know, I was like, well, duh, business of sports, let's do that, and uh, got offered to coach college, and then, I don't know, life happens, and I decided to go be a model, an actress, and chase that if you want to chase something, you should chase hitting that subscribe button because we're trying to get to a million subscribers and we're racing the iced coffee hour to try to get there. So please help supporting this channel. Also, thanks for being on, by the way, because I Thank know this you. is the hot seat. It's hard. I hope you walk away, get something from this. Um, and I, you know, you're being an educational service to people out there. If you're interested in being on the show, apply in the link. Uh, uh, there's an application in the link in the description below. Uh, but yeah, I, thank you. For no, here. thank I know you for hard. having me. Because I, I know my personality. <laughs> I'm a when Capricorn. I go, All right. Well, yeah. Yeah. I don't need to bring stars into this conversation. <laughs> we can take it. <laughs> I've been taking it. It's okay. But I know that there's more for me coming. And I know that I'm in a space of like, no, I do need to be responsible. I'm very aware of that. Like, seriously? No, 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 no. And it's like, oh, I already did my own audit. I still got to do my taxes. But it's you a haven't lot. done what's responsible. You've done your own audit, but you didn't make the changes necessary to do it. I, am, I did no, make the changes. No, no. We haven't gotten to your spending yet. When we see the spending, you have objectively not made the changes. Unless you're saying it was worse than before that. And of which case, I would f***ing have an aneurysm right now. And you've chosen not to go work. We're waiting for the dream job. So no, no, no. You did not do an actual audit of yourself and make changes. I did the first step, which is recognizing I, had, I do have a slight problem with spending. That's What's this $102,000 you owe at a 4.625 interest rate? Is that a house? The home that my mom left. For me and my sister, so we still oh, have a slight mortgage. Yes. Okay. So, but it's in Austin. In, yeah. so what's the value to at these days? It's over that. Well, yeah. I, I don't think there's anything I say, valued anywhere close to one hundred thousand. I know, I know. Maybe so I'll four, say like three, four. I'll on the low end, I'll just say like three twenty. Just to be, so you have like a uh, well, you and your uh, my sister and I, my younger sister. Are you both on the title then? And, and the just, estate, okay. yeah, it's cool, just cool, me and cool, my cool, sis. Cool. Yeah. So you you approximately have about. Uh, don't do it. What? 
What? Wait, even more debt? No, no, no. Well, you do have more debt, but you have a you personally have like $125,000 of equity into this house, which is really cool. I You personally. Yeah, I don't even know. I would rather just get that house paid off so that that's secured. Wait, why? It's at a 4.6% interest rate where the rest of your death debts are at like <laughs> insane interest rates. What's the interest rate on your car by the way? I didn't even get that. Uh what? Uh 13. <laughs> 13 something. Yeah. End it all. That's the lowest I've ever had on a car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh! This I have not seen in this sh on this show ever. Congratulations on being so. Gah, that you are a groundbreaking first in the history of this show. You have late payments on your mortgage. No, don't. Yes, do that. it's there. And it's really, I would say, kind of like my fault. I had lost my apartment last. You year. better. Take responsibility. I, I, Damn I, right. I will take some responsibility. the table too. I will take some responsibility um, as I had to move back home, which is that house that my, my sister was living in, the house that my mom left us. I had my own apartment, doing my own thing, and then she, uh, just real. And I was yeah, like, I like can't afford happened, this. Happens life happens. This was last year, last summer. It was an emergency. Like, I had to move home. My sister ended up having to leave her job yeah. that she worked at at um, a company out here. Um, for like, just for personal reasons, like I took off when things happen uh, with family. Yeah. My sister didn't. And so we kind of had this inadvertently like Dude, swap. What? But the point you... is, I moved home and things had to get paid and I didn't have any money. How much is the monthly? I don't want to tell you because it's like, what? How it's much so is easy. the monthly? A thousand bucks for the mortgage. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. In Austin, you have no idea. It's you are crazy. You, that's what pisses me off about this. I don't you, even make a thousand. You are about, exactly, which is a fucking choice, by the way. You are not. You are not. You are choosing in the city of Austin. Can't speak for every city. You are choosing. I know people who work Uber Eats here and make $80,000 a year. $80,000 a year after maintenance and gas. You're, you're not serious. Why would I lie? I mean... I guess that's they're cool. grinding. They're working the hours. They're working off of UT. They're working off of downtown. They're working in the Westlake area. Got those rich, but guess what? They're making their money and they're that. working an insane amount of hours. I'm trying to find balance, man. And the truth may set her free. She does not want to work. You can call it balance. You can call it what you will, but she is in a big hole that she's dug herself into or dived into head first. I'm trying to find balance. At one point, I was well, balanced. You won't find it until you pay on your. I know. Won't find until you grow up and get a job. So what pisses me off about this, like legitimately, it pisses me off for you, is this makes payment by you not taking care of your own sh and going and bringing in a minimum of just thirty thousand dollars a year, which I know you can. Of course, but made by, by you not doing that, you are squandering the mortgage of all mortgages that anyone around her age would dream of. Dream of what happens when this goes into foreclosure and you missed you. You, you and your sister miss what literally everyone our age dreams of. You have no idea, no I idea do. how blessed you are. I if do. you had any idea, if you had any idea, you'd be taking care of this. I'm if you trying. had any concept, yeah. any notion of an idea, you'd be yeah. taking care of this. You're about to squander I'm the not. biggest blood. On a side note, and what would have helped both her and her sister not be in the predicament they're in, is that if your house isn't paid for, and if you have people that depend on you, and I know at least she's an adult, more than likely her sister is too, but you should probably have a term life policy that would cover your debts and expenses so your family doesn't have to worry about it after your passing. You never know what curveballs life may throw at you, and you have no idea how long, and you never know how long you're granted to be walking around in here, and you never know how long you will have your health. Are already. What do you mean you're not? You are already. I have an opportunity and I'm trying to make the best of it. And I, I'm what? very aware. Like, I'm very aware this is something that my mom... You're aware, but you're not doing anything! I'm trying to get hired. I've been applying. Your, your dream job. We've had this conversation. Not dream time. job. We've dream job is not going back The job this. that you would prefer. The job that you okay, would prefer. Okay. We've had this conversation a thousand yes, times yes, now. Yes, so I'm not job. having it again. I know. I'm trying not to f*** it up with this house. The, the only thing that my mom left... I'm trying not to f*** it up, but every number here and everything I'm choosing to do in life is obviously indicating that I am trying to f*** it up. Damn. Small business loan? Small? You better not tell me this is for your business of you. It's not the business of me. It's Camille Kali. That is a brand and that is my business. Absolutely. Oh my. Bank account and all. Death. You Way took before... out a small business loan? As Yes, I have a business. To be an actor? My brand. Modeling, oh my. Acting, oh directing. Oh my. As the brand. Camille oh, Kali. I'm going to vomit all over this. Table. Camille Kali, the brand. That is a brand. I know I'm being mean to you, but 
if you're watching this out there and you're even considering anything used to this, if you know anyone, send them this episode. This means this is, you're already in it. You're already in it, but this is a joke. It's this not is a, a joke. sad, disgusting. I'm legal. I know there's a lot of people that made up this. My business has been around well before 2020 and all that. Congratulations, SBA. and it makes no money, and we're borrowing twenty thousand eight hundred. It does make money. It. it does. It's just not a million dollars a year. I uh, do make money. Di- there's a big difference between twelve thousand dollars and a million dollars a year. <laughs> I, I don't need you to make a million dollars a year for me to say, okay, you got a business, but you're making twelve. No, but listen, it went from not making anything with my business when I first started out. What? To, it's a process. To now, I, I've, I've, to say, I am proud to say, wow, I've made. <laughs> A little over 10k and it took a while that was no just that's one great year. but you don't borrow twenty thousand dollars if you're only I know, making 10. I, I, that wasn't uh, i didn't Why? have to pay Why'd it you borrow this? it was offered as hey if you have a business um and this went everything went towards my business to pay people to, to pay people yeah do you know what yeah. it takes to uphold a brand do i do you do i and you pay people to help you yeah uphold your once brand. i can afford them i did i did every single thing myself 15 hours a day seven days a week until i could hire one person and then i still did the majority of the work until i could hire two people and then boom i was able to offload certain items onto those two people and i was able to hire another person and then i was able to hire another person i only did that when i could afford it i did not go and borrow money to do it and you don't you, you don't pay people now do you um, I try to. Anything I do, even what? if it's just twenty dollars. Why are you not doing the jobs yourself? Even if it's just, hey, thank you. I recognize the work that you're doing. Here's twenty dollars gas card. Here's this is this is all I have. It might be I might not be able to eat tonight, but I show value and like this is something that I'm working on on my brand. Hey, people see my value. They want me to work. They want me to work for free. And it's like, no, we got to get to a point where we stop asking people to work for free. Yes, I'm down for that, but you should be so, doing this yourself. You don't make anything. Yeah, but if I can hire... You can't! But if I don't have to be paying them $30 an hour to work. Any little bit to show, like, hey, this is where I'm at in my brand and my business. I appreciate it. When, as I grow, this $5, this $20 gas card will turn into more. You know? This is just showing appreciation. Even if it is just $20. It's something. I it's I can something. Break. I don't know. There's nothing I can even do to help you. So I can speak from experience. Trying to grow your brand is extremely hard. It takes a lot of work and you have to do and learn things that you are not accustomed to. But especially something like this, and especially in the hole that she is in, she cannot justify spending all this money when she can't even afford, she can't even afford her deceased mother's house. Oh, your mindset that. is so broken. No, it's not. The fact that you think you can hire people. Listen, yes, I agree the people you that hire. That was from the past. Arr, the people you hire should make money. If we're bringing in $12,000 a year, we can't as a business. This past year, no, I didn't, I didn't pay anybody. This past- $1.41 in our checking. We're balling. Oh, but what did we decide to do? Because we did an audit on ourselves and we're changing our we're changing our present. Yeah, every line's bullshit, unnecessary bullshit. Eating that out. Doesn't... I know that's that's that's. I can tighten up with eating out for sure. Tighten up. I know. Tighten up. I know. Tighten up. Beyond an understatement. Are you don't kidding do me? Don't do it. What do you mean? Don't do it. You don't want me to call your bullshit out. You've already. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, but you have more bullshit to sort through. More shovel, El Morasso, some fucking taquitos, and stopping and getting gas station, and Shrachkis, and Taco Bell, and Chick Fil A, Asian restaurant, getting a car wash. That's what we need when we can't afford to pay bills. That's what we need. We can't, can't even afford to pay on our cars. We better go pay to wash it. That makes sense. Oh, getting a keto and Serena's breakfast. Eating out is so expensive. If you aren't careful, it's going to add up to hundreds of dollars real quick every month. Morning gas station, getting some snacky, snacky, snackies. Then we now $80. There's probably the pay. Yard house and Honest Lash and Kirby Lane. Some Google payment, probably storage. And yes, it if is. you think you can, this is not all business expenses. These uh, are no, no, not. no, 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 not. I mean, oh, then earlier you were me then. No, some are AAA, business. King Smoke, that's certainly not business. That's a terrible habit. Terrible habit. What? Smoking. Smoking what? Cigarettes? I don't smoke cigarettes. I don't, know. I don't smoke cigarettes. Oh. You smoke something. You go to the smoke shop constantly. No. Okay, well, <laughs> yeah. listen. All right. Stress. Chick fil A. Yeah, congratulations. <laughs> I'd be stressed too if I was squandering all my future. Oh, don't. Ugh. Cash apping out $30, JCPenny, Greek food, going to the gas station, getting some snacky snacks. Uh, same with HEB, just some snacky, snacky, snackies. HEB, like, listen, groceries are expensive. Yeah, so, so $4.29. I, I don't think you went and got some groceries. I probably forgot, like. We probably went and got a 
Diet Coke and something. <laughs> no, but I do eat healthy, though, and I cook a lot. I do eat healthy, and it is expensive to cook. Yeah, you cook for one meal a week because you go out every second of your life. Going to a gas station, getting some things. Sally Beauty. Oh, we got our car washed again. Great. We can afford that. Domino's. Uh, Kona Grilled. Going in, getting some taquitos. Going in, getting taquitos. Taquitos. And Walmart and McDonald's and Taco Cabana and Foot Heaven. It's my producer's worst nightmare. Cell service. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you go in and spend $10 in one taco. And again, we go in and spend $2.79. And you cash it out $25. Hazel Sky. <laughs> Smoke Shop. Robin Hood. Yeah, we're about to get into that. That's Man. stupid. Taquitos, taquitos, taquitos. So, of your overall spending, uh, going towards that, nothing. You made absolutely no progress at all whatsoever. And anything net, not even close. 10% with the transportation, it would be much higher if you actually paid your bills. That's his gas. Uh, actually going and getting groceries, $143. I cook all the time. No. Going out to eat, $397. No, that's not. That's this is one of the reasons why I implore people to take the time to do their own budget. I'm not huge on being a huge stickler to some of the costs that you put up things. But at the end of the day, you could be accountable and actually see what you do spend in certain categories. That's no. literally the numbers in your own statements that you sent us, so I don't want to hear anything. <sighs> for taquitos and some extra do not matter in any way whatsoever. 9.3% of our spending. Large purchases, 10% of our spending. Let's see what the large purchases were. The large purchases were JPay and Van Moon Out Money. So I would say I have a family relative that is in incarcerated and they're always asking. Go, but you don't have money. I know. I love I'm the always heart trying aspect to send, of it. And I got messed up on one of my credit cards not realizing that you cannot send money like that from a credit card because that with the uh yeah it was just like as if i Cash pulled advance, oh yeah, my basically. god okay robin hood this is a fun I little to, thing in there. i have to go to the restroom <laughs> can i go to the restroom well, yeah you do that and i'll have a quick panic attack oh, okay never usually have the opportunity to sit here and talk to the camera when they're not here but let me tell you as if this wasn't a mess enough and we're going to the crypto section and this blew my mind when i was going through it this i can't believe this episode i really thought I knew there was debt here. I knew there was debt here. I really thought this would be a conversation with someone who's going to be more just open. But man, people are just, you, you'd you be so surprised. You have a conversation with people. You have a conversation with people. And they're like, they're, they're, they're good. And then I think just the nerves of being in front of the camera for the first time, just being on a show in front of a lot of people, they're so defensive. God. Shiba, Shiba Inu? Shiba Inu? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Right. I had some good plays, man, and I just... it was. Oh, a... yeah, great plays, because we went from $11,000 to nothing. Great play. Fantastic play. Best strategy I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, I know someone who could use $11,000 right now. She's sitting across from me. Where are we at the peak in uh, this account, whatever the f*** account is? Uh, Coinbase? Is Coinbase. Like Coinbase. Yeah, 32000 is where we were sitting at. Oh, we're at zero, practically. Yes. I know someone who could use $32,000 right now. Do you? Do you? She goes by Cam. You ever heard of her? And we have this A plus Federal Credit Union. That just showing that I am, I do have a Roth, and like I eighty four dollars. It used to be more, but listen. Oh, listen. I'm trying. I am trying. Okay. I don't I'm think you trying. know what that word means. Meaning I, I can do better. I legitimately don't think you know what the word try means. I can do better. You're dreaming and envisioning things, but that is nothing without the action, and you are not putting them in the action. The action that's required. You are doing job applications, and I appreciate that, and I can give you a high five for that. But until we are making the money, we still have to be a adult and work a job we don't want to work. You are not trying. Trying is actually going out and getting done. Honestly, and I hate to say this because I know it's just coming across as rude because this conversation has been intense. I would be embarrassed if I were you. I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed for you. I mean, I should have way more money. I've come across I'm way too much I'm embarrassed by your money. financial situation. I'm embarrassed by your actions. Yeah. I'd be embarrassed by you not going out, being a big girl, putting on some pants and shoes, and going to work. I am not. I'm a worker. I work hard. I don't mind getting my hands dirty. I'm literally you coming back like into. I'm coming back into the workforce. I am. I'm trying to figure out. I don't want to waste my time. You know, doing things that are not going to pay me. You know, if I can deliver packages in four hours, make a hundred bucks, why would I go work a job where I have to work a whole week just to make a hundred bucks? I'll tell you why. I'll give you a little reason. It's because you only brought in ten thousand dollars from that job last year. I think we figured it out. Total income. What comes in? Two thousand dollars. Let's just say that. Awesome. That's being generous. Debt payments. 
that's a lot of debt and i will take responsibility like i in the sense of my spending habits like i said i should have so much more my finances should be a totally as they were to a couple years ago a totally different space i but I, listen i'm gonna do what your debt payment should be now what they are because you need to catch up on them and then what the debt payment would be at that point okay it's probably gonna be something like oh oh yeah because the mortgage which is fair enough which you don't have to include I, but i am okay well, into the debt. What do you mean I don't have to include? I that? guess you do for me. I gotta remember to include One thousand twenty-nine dollars, and then plus the mortgage of a thousand dollars. What's your water bill on a monthly basis? Do you even know? Do you even pay it? Damn! Don't play me. Like, I, listen. That was a very valid question from everything I've just been through. That wasn't a meme on you. That was like, do you pay your bills? Because up to this point, the answer is no. Uh, the bills are being paid, just not by me. I pay my bills. My bills are paid, but just they're not. not by in me. Your case. We split. My, me and my sibling. She's not happy with me. Let me just say that. She is highly annoyed with me. Um, that makes two of us. And I totally understand. And I, I am a bear. It is a lot. I am a bear. So I'm like, yo, I should have more. I'm rich at heart. I'm rich at heart. Thank God for that. You'd be actually rich if instead of this $34,000 in there, you were just investing in the overall market in something like Fidelity or Moomoo or some other decent platform that actually makes sense. Investing in things that actually make sense, not investing in advice again because... Okay, water bill. What is it? Um, I would say like a hundred. Into bucks. the mic. I would say like a hundred bucks. Gas and electric. Two hundred. Oh my gosh. Okay, two hundred. Internet. Uh, like I'm gonna call BS on her numbers. It sounds like she's pulling out of her butt. But I also have to remember she is splitting this with someone, so it might be accurate. Fifty. I already did. Like I need a minimum of twenty six hundred, right? That's what bills. Okay. Okay. It's really, like three thousand. Well, you're actually. You know what? We're doing a loose budget for you right now to figure out what you can do. But you're gonna go through our budgeting program, and whew, I'm gifting it, cause. <laughs> but hmm, I feel no ounce of generosity I mean, right now. Let me tell you. Once I get a stable income, this this is this is. Just go through. Once I get it back on my feet with the mindset that I have now, this is all... I'll be skinny once I decide I'm going to go on a diet. Yeah, everyone can say once this happens, once this happens, do it. And a stable income still won't be enough. She'll need an income that's like double the median income in the United States in order to actually get ahead and get her out of the mess that she's in doing it go through the budgeting program get the education behind you it's literally changed thousands of people's lives you stick to it stick to our program take it as many times as you need ask the questions be a part of the past guest discord okay post your wins post your fails encourage each other as they do in there as well okay you spent 193 dollars on gas i with amazon flex i do a lot of driving yes that's fine yeah but i don't get i think i do more gas okay what's your car insurance next what's your car insurance uh, liability 160 I don't think you have car insurance. I have to. Uh, you do have to. I don't think you do. Okay, toilet paper fund, hundred dollars. That's just everything you need to survive in life for your household, for you. That's makeup. It's things that you can just put in that hundred dollars, but it caps at hundred dollars. Hundred dollars. Yes. You practically make zero. <laughs> yes. Three hundred dollars for groceries, for a single person. Yeah. Super Eating chill. healthy. That's that's fair. You can eat healthy. You know, 2,000 calories for you. Isn't it women 2,000? Men is like 2,500, or is it 500 less? I think I it's know. like 15. Yeah, it yeah Okay, whatever. Either way, you can do this plus snacks plus dessert and stuff. <laughs> What's your phone bill? Um, I had two phones. The phone that's on now is $30 a month. Good. You're on like Mint or something. No. No, I just go through a family member who used oh. to work, and they get grandfathered in or some shit. But my, real, my business line was 140 a month. That line got written off it's charged off i think i'm pretty sure cancel all your subscriptions you obviously cannot afford them right i now. did okay well you know just your debt minimum monthly payments is already 29 dollars more than you make on a monthly basis and that's without doing your catch-up payments that you're behind on that's like literally just the normal minimums but let's get your full what's required to survive on a monthly basis on a loose thing then you'll get the exact numbers when you go through the program okay what is needed to survive is three thousand one hundred sixty two dollars to survive in austin that's your that's your minimum your minimum i need more than that oh yes you do but that's your like literal minimum why can't it just be like oh my gosh four what? grand that is like with rent this with insurance with car with everything realistically of bills and things that have gone up are you kidding me this we just did your budget this these are all your bills unless there's something hidden what other bills are you am i missing you got rent my car note yeah is, your mortgage is your rent right yeah my mortgage yes my car note is yes got that um Car. Oh, car note is three twenty. Yes, that's even much better than I had. What did you put? Nine hundred four. That's what it looked like. That's what you're behind. But I'm behind. So this is even better. Yeah. Well, this is you even thought better. I was paying a thousand dollars for a car note? Oh hell no. 
Oh, no. I've seen a lot of people do it on the show, and trust me, you'd fall into that category. Oh, hell no. But that's my car I tried to explain to you was a gift, and I'm trying to hold on to it. I've never missed a payment up until last couple months. I've it's all it's I don't give a shit how well you've done if you're not doing it. People fall Does that not make sense? Yes, I know! I know! But yours is so much more of a choice than you are allowing yourself to recognize. You're being a child. What you need to survive now with the real minimum monthly payments is 2,562. Minimum. Minimum. Why do we change the minimum? Do you not understand how this works? I've never budgeted. I've never. Listen, I am adding up your minimum expenses for what you need to survive on a monthly basis. And that curates what you need on a minimum. I want you to make more than that. I want you to invest. I want you to pay off that quicker. But that is the minimum amount of money that needs to come in so that your bills are met. Does so that got, make sense? Yeah, so we got mortgage. Yeah. We got car note. We yeah. got car insurance. Yep. Um, we have internet. Yep. Uh, Gas and electric. Yep. We got water. Yep. We got uh, uh, your total paper phone, your groceries, and all your minimum monthly debt payments as well outside of your mortgage. Minimum monthly debt payments, meaning yes. my meaning student, student loan. Well, student loans is nothing right now, uh, but your credit cards and your car as well. I just feel like it, I do way more than that. No, sh you do because you go and spend money on dumb stuff. I'm sorry, I'm just confused how you're confused. I, I don't want to be mean. If it's a, if it's an actual learning opportunity, I don't want to be uh, no. mean. But I, I I'm confused how you're confused. I'm not confused. I think it's just that I've been in a position where I've made more than that, and I'm just accustomed. My bills are now at that level. But they're so not. These me, are your minimum bills. How do you not get that? These no, are... I do get it, and I think that there's more. I'm just, like, not thinking of everything. Oh, yes, that's fine. You're going to go through the program, and you're going to get your concrete thing. Okay, okay. But I think I'm used to making more, and so now I'm in this situation where it's like, oh, uh, okay, all my bills are still the same, even though we're missing a few, I think. It's just, like, getting accustomed to, like, okay, wow, I don't make X amount anymore working for blah, 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 blah. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm trying to manage my own brand. Starting from zero. I didn't come out As the gate. everyone me. does. Yeah. Practically. And so it's an adjustment of, like, oh, wait a minute. This is not what I thought it was going to be. It's not as easy as I thought it was going to be. I thought oh, I so was that's gonna... when you adapt and you go click You adapt adult. and I go work. I picked up Amazon Flex. I did. $10,000 in a year. The first year I made 23 and it was just a subsidized, cool. like. Cool. It got worse. So, obviously, we're not headed in the right direction. I didn't know it was going to get worse last year. Cool, but it did. So we adapt like a f adult it got worse and, and and i'm adapting i am it literally i am adapting okay as soon as i get hired i, I mean i'll keep applying i adapted i went and got a job and then oh, i don't this is your budget but i just have to do better and I keep adapting and like keep going after it and like being a little bit more diligent for sure listen you're obviously not open to actual critiques because you're not open to changing your ways you are set oh. that's so disappointing because we all thought you were a person that would be whatever your hammer financial score is zero i'd give you a negative if i could here's your budget Dang. we're done please leave okay at least a four we're done okay you concluded i'm putting the cap on my pen it means we're done when he was done he was just done oh my goodness that was some episode thank you caleb please guys check out his channel more than likely, if you're at mine, you've seen his before. But he is right. She seemed not open to it at all the whole time. And sadly, that seems the constant reoccurring theme that we see with a lot of people he gets on that show. Which is sad, because Caleb has a wonderful heart and he's really trying to help his people as best he can. Anyway, if you haven't, feel free to subscribe. Leave any comments below. And until next time, ciao.